welcome back to my channel. I am Forever Mimi, coming to you with a story time. Y'all, we're going to take it back to high school. We're going to take it back to high school, middle school, whatever child. We're we going to take it back to the school days, okay? All right. Okay, so, y'all know how we take those tests at the end of the year or either in the beginning of the year or at the end of the year. That's when we take them. Is it SATs? I think, yeah, SATs. So we take those tests at, uh, you know, we have maybe, what, about a week of that? So we just, so we went on and we took the test and everything. You know how they tell us, hey, get some good sleep, make sure you eat healthy, make sure you can function on a, not on an empty stomach, and they, they tell you all kinds of stuff, right? So, this one here, like, yeah, 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 I'm going to be good. You know what I'm saying? I eat breakfast anyway. You know, ain't studying nothing, y'all. ain't studying not one lick of SAT page, okay? Child, ain't, I've been having the book all this time. ain't even bothered study, okay? So, <sighs> Y'all, we get up and now we take that SAT test. Day one, I was like, man, I'm sitting up here tapping the pencil out, you know. And then I was just bored. Okay, y'all, I want no kids. I was just bored. Like, I got, I can't stay in this quietness. I can't be in the classroom without with this quietness. It's too many people in here. I got to talk. <laughs> So, anyway, y'all, okay, the teacher kept getting on me. I was like, okay, let me go on and just try to do something. Just do what I can and come back, you know, whatever. So, it was this, this uh, guy, no, it was a guy? Yeah, it was, a, oh, this guy was smart. Because he was actually one of my, he's in one of my other classes. So, he, we just happened to to take the same, have the same class doing the SAT. So, Cha, I don't know what he was thinking about. Y'all, he was holding up his book, his, his little paper, or whatever, and I was just going to town. When he was writing, I wrote, I was just, I was just copying I was just copying every answer that he had. You hear me? Blow for blow. And then you know how you try to think some more to say, oh, okay, well, let me do at least five or six or ten of them wrong. That's exactly what I did. So, so the majority of the tests, I basically cheated off of his SAT test. And I had got a couple of them wrong. Actually, I got, how many? I think I got seven wrong. Yeah, seven. I got seven wrong. But you know, that SAT test is like almost two pages. So, but that was just the first half because you know you got sections. That's why I took a whole week for you to, to do that whole, the, uh, the whole test. Okay, so here I am. I'm just like, yeah, yes. I said, I'm, I'm using his brain because I'm lazy. I ain't finna use my brain at all. I, I'm finna use his. So, y'all, all this time, I don't know if he knew. I don't know if he knew. And I really didn't care. I was just copying off his answers. So, one girl told him, oh, I guess she's seen what was going on between me and him. So I was just holding my head down like this here. And I, that's how I was writing like that. And I said, okay, well, anyway, somebody caught on and they told him, y'all, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. I passed that test. <laughs> I passed that test. I passed, 
I think I it was one that I did not pass. But overall, I passed the whole SAT. So here I am using somebody else's brain to get where I want to get to, y'all. Don't do that. Don't do that. It may I may was laughing the whole time, y'all, but trust me. Don't do that. I think, I ain't going to say I think. God gave us all our senses. And he definitely gave us the ability to learn and to think for ourselves. And not to go on other people's judgment. Okay? If I was to, if I was to take that test all over again, I promise you I would not cheat. I would not cheat. Because guess what? That was my life. Okay? When I took that SAT, that's basically my life. And I just barely made it through through, through somebody else's. So, even though I still feel like to this day as an adult that I didn't deserve to pass that SAT because I cheated. And I didn't I didn't uh, use what God gave me, which is God gave me a learning ability to do that, you know, to do my, you know, to think for myself, read and answer the questions on my own. And not to do, not to be thinking, you know, having somebody else um you know, go on somebody else's answer because that's not right. Because as an as an as adult now, excuse me, y'all, for all this stumbling. As an adult now, I can't look at somebody else and say, "Oh, I'm gonna do that." Can't do that. You gotta make your own judgment. You gotta make your own decision. You can't just sit around here and say, "Oh, I'm gonna just go on by." I'm a um. I'm just going by this person right here. Are you are you hanging around this person just because they smart? Y'all, I didn't do this just in high school. I did this in college too. And man, I think back. I said, man, why did I do this? I wanted to hang around somebody that was smarter than me. You know? To make it look like I'm not no, I was, I was, you know, I'm smart just like them. And all of alone, I didn't want to use, I didn't want to exercise my brain and my learning ability that God gave me. And I knew better. You don't never go on anybody else's judgment. Never, ever, ever. Because you don't know what they answer going to be. Or what kind of decision they going to do. Do not do that. God gave us the ability to. He gave us a learning ability. That's what I'm going to say. I may be wrong. But God gave us the ability to learn. He get, if, he, if, we, if we didn't have creativity. <laughs> how could we learn how to be creative? We have to learn it from somewhere. So might as well put it to use in that kind of way. Don't cheat yourself through. Or what they say, don't cheat yourself out of a great opportunity. That's a, Learning is an opportunity. That's a pleasure. That's an honor. Because you're learning something. You, you're building up on something. You're not just saying, oh, okay, I want, I want to do this just because, you know, they're doing it. Or maybe if I hang around this smart person, I can get by. And you don't want to go through life just getting by. You don't want that. You do not want to just get by. You want to pass through this life with the ability that God gave us and learn. God gave us the ability to learn. We got to use it. And we need to stop being so lazy like I was. I'm lazy. I'm sitting up here copying off this young man's paper. Yeah, I got over. 
But trust me, honey, it hindered me as well. Because if I was to go back and take that test again, without anything, I probably would have failed. I probably would have failed. So the lesson is, y'all, use what God gave us a learning ability. Use it. Use it, use it, use it. And don't depend on the only person you need to be depending on is God. You don't need to be depending on nobody else. And that's the same way with your learning ability. Depend on God to help you because he gave you the ability to learn. Depend on him. Lord, help me learn this. Lord, help me do this. Lord, I want to learn how to do this. I want to make this jewelry. I want to learn how to craft. I want to learn how to make a wreath. Ask God to give you that learning ability. He gave it to you. You just got to put it to work. And that's what I had to learn. The story, like I said, in the beginning, it was funny. But then at the same time, it hindered me in the end. It really did. And I had to, I was forced to learn this on my own. I have to learn how to read and understand something. Don't never depend on nothing like that. Ever again. Ever. If you're doing it, stop it. And let God, let that learning ability come out of you that God gave you. Bring it out. If you need help learning something, you always can ask somebody. But God gave you that ability to learn how to do it on your own. And don't copy from anybody. So this is my story time, y'all. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to like, comment, come on over and join me. And I will see you all on the next story time.